Hi sisters! In today's video, this has been ridiculously requested. I have not had this many messages, comments, DMs from Twitter and Instagram and all over the place for me to react to this video or make a video about this video. What it is, is one of James Charles's newest videos and it is titled, I gave my little brother a tattoo. A makeup artist giving someone a tattoo. <sighs> I've lost all hope. Let's just do a little rewind quickly. I made a video recently about the state of YouTube and the state of the beauty side of YouTube and stuff like that. I'll leave a link down below if you're curious. But I said in like the end portion of that video that you know there is some YouTubers out there that have had scandals in the past and they have grown from it and they have become a better person for it. And I mentioned James in that. James Charles, I actually like his content. I don't know if I should admit that, but his content is it's improving, it's amazing, he's doing so much better for himself and he is young. That's the thing with some of these younger careers, they're young and you know, they don't know what to do with all this audience and they don't know how to act and every little thing they do is being monitored, so to say. This I haven't watched, like I promise you, I have been sent this and I saw the thumbnail and I thought, oh Jesus Christ, I, I don't, I don't want to watch this. But then the request started coming in to say, hey Lauren, you should react to this. So I haven't watched it. This is my first time watching it. Obviously I'm going to skip through, I'm not going to watch the whole thing. There is by looking at the thumbnail, Romeo Lacoste in here. And I'm sure most of you have seen my video on Romeo Lacoste. If you have not... I'll leave a link down below. I go into the ins and outs of, you know, micro tattoos and him as a person. But I don't really want to focus on him in this video. I feel like that meme is dead now. Like, the meme is dead. Romo Lacoste meme is dead. We get it. We know he ain't gonna own up to his tattoos or his micro tattoos and his fine line tattoos lasting. It, it's no point. There's no point beating that horse. It is dead. So we're just going to focus on James for this one. I believe James's brother is 16. That's what famous birthdays say his age is. And the legal age to get tattooed in California is 18. So tattooing Ian underage is against the law, law breaking. Romeo is also very guilty of this, tattooing people under age. It's not good. I was going to bring that up in my video about him, but I'd already had so many points. I was just like, there's no point bringing this one up. But um, there is tattoo laws, believe it or not. It varies from each state. So if anyone comes at me and is like, well, in my state, it's this. And in this state, it's this. Yeah, I know. But each state is different. This whole tattooing people underage for views, for money, whatever it is that Romeo or whoever gets out of this is no. James has a huge audience, like massive, and I imagine most of them are underage and, you know, young. I'm talking like nine to like, I don't know, 15. And they're seeing this and seeing like, oh, it's so much fun. Yeah, let's tattoo people. I haven't been through an apprenticeship. I haven't gone through like health and safety or anything like that. Like that is not okay. All of this for views and money and no, it's not cool because your audience is young. They're impressionable. Okay, let's, uh, let's, uh, Watch this. Hi sisters, James Charles here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. As you can see, I'm joined with a very, very special sister guest today! Ian. I know. <laughs> Yeah. So as you guys know, so Ian has been living with me for the past few months out here in Los Angeles. We are looking to get a house very, very soon and he'll be living with me full time, which will be really good and fun and fresh. So I won't be lonely since I don't have a boyfriend. <laughs> That was too Aww. real. Anyway, we were sitting earlier today here in my regular apartment and talking about tattoos. For those of you guys who do not know, Ian actually has a few different tattoos on his body, two of them being on his wrists. So I believe James Charles and Ian are from New York. I, I could be wrong. Do correct me if I am wrong. But the law in New York is that you have to be over the age of 18 to get tattooed. So these guys... I'd love to break the law. Love it. <laughs> Sister scandal. Look at the flick of the wrist. Okay, so the one on my left wrist is my mom's birth date, and the one on my right is my dad's. And the one on my thigh is in memory of little peep, RIP the light. And for those of you guys who ask about me, because I get the question all the time too, I do not have any tattoos, but I'm definitely not opposed to them. I love tattoos. I think the art of them is so cool and so beautiful. I just simply, at this current time, do not have anything that I want on me permanently, because it is a very, very serious and long-term decision. And speaking of serious and long-term decisions, me and Ian made a really good and fresh, serious long-term decision 
decision today that I am going to be giving him a tattoo. Whoa. How did I convince you to even do this today? All I know. How is this even a thing? Like if I went to a tattoo studio and talked to a tattoo artist was like, hey, can I give myself or someone else a tattoo? They would tell me to fuck off. They'd be like, fuck off, no way. Did you go for an apprenticeship? Do you know how to tattoo? Do you even know how to hold a machine? Do you know how to work a machine? Like this, ugh. That was I love tattoos and I want to get more. So if you give me one at a place that can't be seen by people, I don't really care how it turns out, because it's gonna, it's just a tattoo. It's there forever though. Yeah, but you can't see it, it doesn't really matter, I don't really care. And it's pretty good for views, so. <laughs> yeah. I mean, at least he's honest. At least he's honest, he's just said it right there. It's for views. Yeah, kinda true. Say I was even like able to actually tattoo you today. Okay. On a scale from one to ten, how well do you think I would do? You are artistic, you can do makeup very well. Artisticness has nothing to do with tattoos. Well, I mean, it, obviously it helps, but you have to get the technique down first. That's what an apprenticeship is. You learn how to do the techniques, you learn how to do solid line work, shading, saturation. Artisticness really doesn't have much to do with the first sort of stages of learning how to tattoo you need to get down the basic draw very well but what you need to you understand is tattooing is not like drawing because a pencil you have all the control in the world but like yeah a tattoo gun is in a shape unfortunately that word is one of my pet peeves <laughs> i know sometimes people accidentally say it that's fine not everyone should know that it's called a machine tattoo machine it's not a gun a gun shoots things at you shoots the tattoo machine has the needle going up and down up and down up and down up and down it's not shooting ink at you it's not like pew ink splash pew ink splash you know it's like it's a machine i don't uh whatever i'm being nitpicky it can vibrate so like a straight line is oh, not gonna go straight yeah i'm gonna estimate that you gave me a solid two out of ten on this tattoo you have literally zero faith in me none at all Absolutely So, not. but you're just letting me do that Because I don't care. I, I just don't think that way, but okay. I'm so conflicted. Like, I'm glad he's, like, aware that this probably won't go great. But then I'm like, oh, God, like, there's young people seeing this. They're gonna get ideas. Like, whatever. Okay, I mean, you do you. Do you know what you want yet? I have a couple ideas. You gotta keep it simple, though. Okay, I'm gonna quickly skip ahead. Hi, how are you? Good. What's up? Hey, what's up, dude? Okay. Him, like, he's just... Let's just skip to the talking. Definitely yeah. not. I am familiar with the art of tattoos. Mm -hmm. I have, like, a lot of them saved on my phone because I think they're really cool. But I don't really know anything about, like, the process of being a tattoo artist. Mm -hmm. Is there, like, school that you go to for? Is it just, like, training? Or do you just kind of learn sure. and hope that you get good? So, I'm basically going to give you a crash course today. But pretty much what you're, do what you're doing today is basically what most people are supposed to do, like, for a very long time. So, usually you find, like, a shop yeah. that kind of, like, it's like an internship. You find a shop that kind of takes you in. And yep. then they basically teach you, like, how to tattoo over, usually it's, like, a span of, like, two years. So, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of a long time. It's like one or two years. <laughs> oh so, my god! Yeah, so we're gonna crash course it today. You're gonna basically like learn a lot. We're we gonna learn techniques, how to be hygienic. We're we gonna go that far. I don't think so. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be watching. I'm gonna make sure that everything's like yeah, please you know. Do. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try to make sure that everything goes smoothly. Personally, I would definitely pick a design that's like not too technical, not too complicated, because okay. this is your first time doing this. You haven't <laughs> done this before. You don't want to go like too crazy and do something that's like too too difficult. You gotta give him that. At least he's advising him to be like hey let's not make this complicated but if it if it has straight lines a oh, whole room for a, a ride i don't trust you doing this you are literally have no faith in me well yeah you don't have any tattoos you never got a tattoo you never wow. given someone a tattoo what, what a poser you, you don't even have a tattoo and you're no. like see some bullcrap oh. so what <laughs> he doesn't have a tattoo okay cool let's just shame him for it All right i think they're <gasps> I like that. that. So that's cool. That's kind of cool, right? Yeah, like Something like that. Mm -hmm. I think this is good, you know. Yeah. And honestly, this is just because you're like not used to tattooing. This is gonna like it's gonna take you like a minute to do this. But it's not gonna be like a five minute tattoo. It'll probably end up taking you like half an hour to do this. To be honest. Yay. Twenty five minutes extra of pain, <laughs> Ian. <laughs> I actually really like that. Yeah, that's cool. Okay. We've seen the design, it looks like balloons or something. It's going on his thigh. Right on the thigh. Okay. 
Cool. Do you do that to your customers? I do not do that to my customers. James, you're fired. Oh. <laughs> okay, so I am really, really scared right now. Bromu just went to the bathroom, and I've always had a serious appreciation for tattoos, and I've always wanted to get one, but I've never gotten one. One, because I don't want to deal with the pain. That sounds not fun. And two, it's like permanent. It's like going to be there forever, so I don't want to mess up. I'm scared. <laughs> I don't want to mess up. I don't think I'm going to mess up. Fingers crossed. Ah, oh, you are the worst. You're not helping. Really I'm not going to mess up. I'm putting it into the universe right now. Oh. I was waiting for gloves to not be a thing for James. I was just waiting for that moment. I was just like, he's going to touch you with no gloves on. But he is. Okay, so that's redeemed. Why, God, okay. I'm so scared of it all. Okay, okay, are you ready? No. Okay, approximately how hard do I need to push down? So the best thing is to kind of like put your wrist like right here so you can kind of like stabilize yourself and then push it almost like where it's flush with the skin, flush with like the... The point? The plastic part, yeah. Okay. Then okay, you got it? <gasps> I'm okay, so I know, it sounds like a lot. Okay, and then I just lift up when I'm done. Exactly. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. So this little spot right there. So start at the very tip and then kind of like work your way down. Pretty much like right there, where it's connecting, yeah, connecting right with right the other lines. Uh, no, you have to go deeper than that. Okay, okay, okay. Like, that's, that was like nothing. <laughs> just like what his tattoos will look like in five years time. <laughs> I had to throw a little jab in there somewhere. Okay, great. Okay, let's, let's check that one out. It's okay. Oh middle sketchy. It's okay. I really want to see you. The middle one. The middle. Oh, she is thick. <laughs> That's right. not that bad. That's not that bad. That looks like it's deep as well, like scar tissue. Definitely. I'm Here we go. <laughs> definitely seen a lot worse. Like it's definitely not that. I've seen a lot worse too. Yeah. Yeah. yeah this is actually not too bad for you. It just looks like a piece tattoo. of like thick twine as opposed to a string. <laughs> Turn that other one back there. You don't want to touch this thing. That wasn't bad, but next time try to go a little slower. Okay. Like definitely not in the right area, but it. It's okay. It, like it still works. It wor slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. There you go. Oh God! Do you see the shaking? Obviously, I know it's hard to hold them, but like, oh God, the shakiness of those lines. Oh my God! Can we see where the stencil is? And he's just come all the way around outside of the stencil. Oh, and the string over here. Oh, good God! Oh Jesus Christ! This is why apprenticeships are a thing. This is why there is Instagram pages called Snake Pit because of tattoos like this, like. Slow down, slow down, slow down. You might have to redo that eye to be honest. Let's see it. You might have to redo that eye a little bit. There you go. Slow and steady. You're fine, you're fine. That's good. I wouldn't do any more than that. Okay, so I just go to the next one? Yeah, go to the next one. That was that good. That was good. Probably your best circle. Oh, love that. I love wow. my best circle. Oh my god, so, it's okay. Yeah, it's not though. bad. It's kind of thick. Few, few little spots. It's not the worst tattoo I've ever seen. Trust me, I've seen a lot. It's not that bad. It's okay. It's pretty good, That honestly. middle line is horrible. <gasps> I'm impressed. Yeah! Well, it's, it's the sad one, though. He's all messed up. <laughs> <laughs> He's all messed up. What do you expect? Jesus, take the motherfucking wheel! I don't know what to say. I, d I don't... It looks like a child did it. And not in a cute kind of way either, you know? Sister fucked up. Sister fucked up real... real big. If you still want to do it. Oh my god! <laughs> you do, James. Yeah, I do. Yeah. No, I want to do it. Okay. I love tattoos. Like, I love the art. I think they're so cool. I just literally have never had anything that I've, like, wanted to get. You know what I mean? Oh god. Oh my god, I'm scared! I'm so scared. Where's it going? No! No, 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 no. Oh no, this is gonna sister disappear in six months. I have a question. So I talk a lot. I need this to not be shown when I talk. I got you. Hold it. Okay, we're good, we're good. Okay, one down. You're good, you're good. Cool. One more. Fast forwarding. Thanks, Rolio. I got you, for sure. It wasn't as like painful as I thought it was gonna be. 
All right, you guys, I guess that we are all done completely. Thank you, Romeo, You're for welcome. letting us come today. This is so fun. I got my first tattoo ever, and it was not that bad. Okay, I love how it turned out. You guys better go double tap the Instagram picture. I don't know what to say about that. I'm not gonna rip into Romeo too much because we've already done that. I know I have a couple of times done a few little slide jabs here and there. Final thoughts? I don't know. I just don't get slash like this kind of content personally with the whole like let's tattoo people underage illegally for the views. I don't know. I'm just glad there's no micro tattoos involved here. I'm so glad that there is no fine line tattoos involved in this either. That's something I guess so. Well actually no because if that was a thing these tattoos wouldn't last that long and then they would just disappear and we wouldn't have to deal with it. We wouldn't have to see it. Mm. Anyway I think I'm done for this video. My final thoughts are whatever you know. It's out there in the wilderness now. There's nothing I can do about it. People ask for my two cents. My two cents is I don't like it. I don't understand this whole getting tattoos or doing tattoos for views when nobody's had training. Um, he pretty much just sat down and was just told, yeah, do it like this. No, do it a little bit slower. Pull the line a little bit better. That's not, that's not how it goes. That's not, I may be too old for this kind of thing. Yeah. Maybe I should shut up. What do I know? I'm nearly 30. So yeah, that would be the end of the video. If there's any other videos you'd like me to react to or talk about, then holler down below. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on this video. Do you like this kind of content? Uh, do you take it seriously or not so seriously? I don't know. It's just, yeah. Hope you guys are all doing very, very well. And until my next video, bye.